And we begin tonight with a community in mourning. Loved ones gathered on the campus of Emory University this afternoon to honor Amy St. Pierre. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. The 38-year-old Decatur woman died in a shooting rampage at Northside Medical Center last week. Fox News' Deidre Dukes is at the live desk tonight with more on the moving tribute this afternoon. Deidre? And Russ, friends, family, and colleagues gathered on Emory University's Decatur campus this afternoon to celebrate Amy St. Pierre's life and legacy. Her loved ones, neighbors, and co-workers shared fond memories during the hour-long service. And they spoke of how Amy built relationships, loved people, and worked worked for change. She was a devoted wife and mother, worked at the CDC, and dedicated her life to making the world a better place, they said. St. Pierre was one of five people shot at Northside Medical in Midtown on May 3rd. Four others were hospitalized. Uh, the suspect remained in custody without bond tonight as St. Pierre's loved ones gathered to honor her memory. One of her neighbors said, we need a change in our community, challenging those in attendance this afternoon and those watching the live stream to let Amy's activist energy be the push to lead that change. The neighbor saying that Amy embodied the value of celebrating people's differences and allowing that to be the very thing that pulled them together. Well, the speaker's honoring the fullness of Amy's life. We were in awe of the way she moved through this world. She was, in a word, remarkable. With the greatest of respect and admiration, we marveled at her curiosity and love of learning, her zest for life and new adventures as evidenced by the stamps that adorned her passport. I'm here to give Amy her flowers, not only as a brilliant teammate, but as a dear friend. I speak for the rest of the CDC maternal mortality prevention team family when I say we cannot begin to express our devastation that she touched so many lives during her time here with us. A representative from the city of Atlanta read a letter written by Mayor Andre Dickens to the family in which he conveyed his deepest sympathies to all who knew and loved Amy St. Pierre. Senator Raphael Warnock also sent words of support today. At the live desk, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. And our condolences as well. Deidre, thank you.